Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is all about the properties of rectangles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have an example here, an illustration, a rectangle A, B, C, D, and we are told to find all sides, the measure of all sides and all angles. Alright, so before we solve for the all sides and all angles, we need to define first what we mean by rectangle. So once again, class, a rectangle, a basic definition of rectangle, a rectangle, okay, if we draw this one, a rectangle is a polygon, a four-sided polygon. So this is a polygon with four right angles. So that's the basic definition of a rectangle, a polygon with four right angles. That's the basic definition of rectangle, a polygon with four right angles. Alright, so the properties of a rectangle, it says that the first property there, it says that the two sides are parallel. So therefore, we can say that AB, line AB, this one, is parallel to line DC. And line AD is parallel to line BC. Alright, that's the first property there. So the second property, it says there that by the way, class, if you didn't see the video of the properties of parallelogram, so it's better for you to see the video first before you solve for this rectangle because the first uh, is a, a rectangle class is a special case of a parallelogram. So most of their most of their uh, properties are actually the same. So I will just put the link in the description below with regards to the uh, dealing with parallelogram and the properties of parallelogram. So let's continue. So the second property, it says that the the opposite sides are equal. So we have AB, this line AB is congruent to line DC. And line AD, this one, is congruent to line BC. Alright? And then, the third property, once again, the it has four right angles. Four right angles. It has four right angles. So let me just write that one. It has four right angles. Alright, this one it means angles. Four right angles. So this one class, this angle A, it should be right. This angle B, it should be 90 degrees. This one, angle D and angle C, it should be 90. It has four right angles. What is that? What else, class? Okay, did, uh, with regards to illustration, did you see, did you see any uh, anything there with regards to illustration? All right. So number four, the diagonals are the same. So diagonals are the same. So this one, okay, diagonals are the same. So therefore, we can conclude that AC, okay, AC is congruent to line B DB. Because it says on this in the last property that diagonals bisect each other. So what do you mean by bisect, sir? Bisect it means that they intersect and they meet at the midpoint. This one at the middle. This point E here. Okay? Diagonals bisect each other at the same time. Let me just write that. Diagonals. Diagonals bisect each other. Each, okay, each other, and they are equal. All right, so that that would be the basic properties of a rectangle. So let's solve for this one, finding the sides. So let's find the sides and angles. So let's find first the sides. All right, so finding the sides. So if this is ten, AD is ten. Therefore, BC is equals to ten. So this one is ten. So BC is equals to, line BC is equals to 10. How about this one, sir? If AB is 24, therefore DC is equals to 24 because the opposite sides are congruent. So DC is equals to 24. Alright, so what else, class? So we are told to find this side, this diagonal. Okay, we are told to find this diagonal. Do not forget, class, that diagonals of our rectangles are the same. So let me just draw this one. Triangle, we cut this into half. Triangle ABD. So let me draw that. Triangle 
ABD. So, ABD. So, AD is 10. AB is 24. And we are told to find this diagonal DB. This one, DB. So, do not forget, class, if this is a right triangle, if we, if we cut this one, this is a right triangle because there's one angle measure 90 degrees, measures 90 degrees. So, therefore, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find DB. So, the Pythagorean theorem that is equals to C squared is equals to A squared. This is the formula, class, A squared plus B squared. So, you are told to find DB, that's the hypotenuse, that is C. So, copy C squared, and our A is 10, so this is 10 squared, plus B is 24, 24 squared. C, C squared is, is equals to 10 squared plus, it means you multiply 10 by itself twice. It, it doesn't mean 10 times 2, it means 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100, plus 24 squared, let me just use the calculator, 24 times 24 that's 576. And then you add, this is C squared is equals to 100 plus 576. So that would be 676. So to get the value of C, extract square root both sides. So square root of C squared. So the square root of 676. C is equals to 26. So cancel this out. So the value of C is equals to... 26. So therefore, this db, okay, this db is equals to 26, 26. So let me write that one. So this is 26. Okay, pause the video class for you to check with regards to the Pythagorean theorem. Alright, so db, this one, db is equals, okay, let me just write it in black. DB is equals to 26. Line DB is equals to 26. Diagonal DB is 26. Therefore, AC, it should be 26. Because the diagonals or rectangles are congruent. So, this is 26. So, therefore, DE, if, if this is 26, we cut it into half because E is the midpoint of DB. So, therefore, DE, line DE, this one, it should be 13. Why is it 13, sir? You just divide this 26, this db, into half. So 26 divided by 2 is 13. And be is also 13. You can actually write this eb or be. That's the same class. So if ac is 26, so this one is 13, de, and eb is also 13. So 13 plus 13, that would be 26. So ae is... AE, line AE is 13, and line CE, CE is also 13. Alright, so that's it for the sides. We already find the sides, so feel free to pause the video class. If you have some questions, do not forget to leave a comment. Okay, to leave a comment so that we can answer that one. Okay, if you have some questions with regards to rectangle, go ahead, leave a comment. We will be answering that one. All right, so we're all we're all done with the sides. Let's proceed to the angles. All right, so let's proceed to the angles. So let me just erase this one. Thirteen. Okay, let me proceed with the angles. All right, so if angle A B A C is twenty-seven, if angle B A C is twenty-seven, therefore this angle here must be twenty-seven degrees. Sir, why is that, sir? It's because, according to the, um, if you still if you still remember during your grade eight, uh, with regards to two line, cut, two lines cut by a transversal line, so this angle here, and this angle must be congruent. That's what we call the alternate interior angle. So alternate interior angle must be congruent, and this angle is congruent to this angle. Alright, so if this is 27 degrees, this must be 27 degrees. So let me just write, write it into red. So this angle here must be 27 degrees. So angle, angle ACD, ACD, ACD must be equals to 27 degrees. Alright.
Alright, so if this is 27 and we all know that this angle must be the angle A, angle A alone, it should be 90 degrees. So what would be lacking class so that we can get 90 degrees? If this is 27, we add it, we subtract it into 90. So 20, uh, 90 minus 27, therefore this angle here must be 63. Let me check that. 63 plus 27. Uh, let's add if we can get 90. 7 minus 3 is 10. 9, 90. So or you can just subtract 90 minus 27. And you will get borrow 1. 63. So this angle here must be 63. 63 degrees. So angle, okay, C, D, or you can write, you can read it C, A, D, or D, A, C. So angle, let me just read it D, A, C. The angle D, D, A, C is equivalent to 63 degrees. Alright, so what else class? This one. Alternate into your angles. Alright, so this is 63 degrees. Because if we add this one, the equivalent is 90. Because angle angle C, it should be 90 degrees. So angle uh, B, C, A. So angle B, C, A. Angle B, C, A. Is equals to 63 degrees. Alternate into your angles are congruent. So what else class? What else can you check? All right, so let's how let's how about this one this 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 triangle here. So let me draw, draw it. This is triangle A B E. Okay, let me just draw it. This one class A B E. All right, so triangle A B E. Therefore, since we cut it into half, this side, this A E, is congruent to B E. Did not forget about that class? AE is congruent to BE because we measured it a while ago. This is 13, 13, 13, 13. Why is that, sir? Because the diagonals of the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So therefore, this is 13, this is 13, this is 13, this is 13. We checked that a while ago, 26, 26 for the diagonals. So therefore, half of that, that is 13. So this side is and this side is congruent. Uh, this AE and AB are congruent. So this is an isosceles triangle. So if this is 27 degrees, this angle B, this one, it must be 27 degrees. Alright, so this is isosceles triangle. So if this is 27, this would be the same, me the same measure. This is 27 degrees. So this is 27 degrees. Alright, so angle, this is ABD. So ABD. ABD is equals to 27 degrees. So if this is 27, uh, this will be 63 because 27 plus 63, that's 90. So this is 63 degrees. Alright, 63 degrees. So angle CBD, so angle CBD is equivalent to, CBD is equivalent to 63 degrees. We're almost done class. How about this this side, this angle? So alternate interior angles. If this is 27, this will be 27 degrees. So angle B, D, C or C, D, B. So let me just write C, D, B. Angle C, D, B is equivalent to 27 degrees. And this one, it should be 63 because 27 plus 63, that's 90. Or the alternate interior angles. So therefore, this is angle A, ADB angle A D B is equivalent to A D B is equivalent to 63 degrees. Alright, so how about this one? Angle A E D. So angle A E D. Okay, what's the measure of angle A E D? So A E D, do not forget class in a triangle. In a triangle class any triangle. Okay, any triangle, the sum of interior angles, it must be 180. Any triangle plus right triangle, isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, a scaling triangle, if you add the interior angles, it must be 180. So since this is 63, 63, so we, sub we add this one and we subtract that to 180. 
So 63, let me just use the calculator plus for us to answer it directly. So 63 plus 63. This is, yes, this is, okay, let me just, 63 plus 63, 6, 126. We subtract that to 180. 126. So carry, borrow 1. This is 10, 4, 54. Alright, so this is 54 degrees. AED, AED is 54 is equals to 54 degrees. Alright, AED is 54 degrees. Alright, how about this one class? If this is 54, this must be 54. Vertical angles class, do not forget, vertical angles. This angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle. Vertical angles are congruent. Two intersecting lines, okay, two intersecting lines uh, meet each other, so they form vertical angles, and this angle, this angle must be congruent. So if this is 54, this will be 54 degrees. Vertical angles. Even if we add this one, this is 100 80. So, angle BED, ano, BEC, BEC is 54 degrees. BEC. Alright, so how about this one? AEB, so angle AEB, AEB, so 27 plus 27, and then we add this one, so 20, let me just use the calculator class, 27 plus 27, that's 54 we subtract it to 180. 180 minus 54, the answer is, this is 126. So this is 126 degrees. Vertical angles, 126 degrees. Do not forget, class, in straight angle, every straight angle, the measure is 180 degrees. So if we add this one, 126 plus 54, that's, that should be 180 plus 54. That's correct, that's 180. Alright, so let, let us just use the vertical angle. So, angle DEC, angle DEC is equivalent DEC. If this is 126, therefore, this should be 126 degrees. Alright, so that's it, class. We're done finding all sides and all angles. So, if you like this video, class, feel free to subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates. If you have some questions... Um, do not forget to leave a comment down below so we will be answering that one our next topic class is the properties of rectangle and we are told to find the x values finding x values i hope you learned something new today and you have a great day goodbye